Hi everyone! This video will help you understand how you can use Price to Spy to reprice your own products and become more competitive on the market. Who should use repricing? The repricing module is made for online retailers who want to adjust their prices based on their competitors. It helps you define your own pricing strategies, which can be segmented either per brand, category, supplier, or for all products in your Price to Spy account. Further, this module will help you make concrete repricing decisions and keep track of decisions you've done in the past. We have identified three types of repricing opportunities that Price to Spy can help you with. Clever drop, clever raise, and stock assortment opportunities. We'll start with the clever drop. Typically, these are overpriced products where your purchase price and profit margin allow somewhat lower price. If we drill into the product details, you'll notice that my website is ranked number 5 in terms of price for this particular product. Here we can see that we're selling this product for 908, while the cheapest competitor is selling for 899. Price to Spy suggests that we drop the price to 890, which would lower the profit margin from 44% to 41%, but potentially increase our turnover, since we'll be the cheapest competitor on the market. In order to get Clever Drop repricing suggestions, you would need to set your product's purchase prices. This is used to calculate your profit margin and it's set per product. Desired profitability, so we can see what's the lowest price you would go for. And competitor prices, Price to Spy will take care of this part. The second type of the repricing opportunities is the Clever Raise. Typically, these are the products where your price is already the lowest on the market, but way too underpriced compared to your next cheaper competitor. This means that you're leaving money on the table. If we go into more product details, you will see that my website is the cheapest competitor for this product. But the next competitor is selling for a significantly higher price, so we have room to increase our price. Here you can see that we're selling this product for 765 but since my next competitor is selling for 826, Price to Spy suggests that we should raise the price to 817 and increase our profit margin while staying competitive on the market. If I accept the change, our profitability would increase from 6 to 13% and we wouldn't leave any money on the table. The only thing you need in order to use the Clever Raise repricing suggestions are your competitor prices. But again, Price to Spy will take care of this part as usual. For each of your pricing strategies, you can define a set of rules to identify the products which meet the mentioned criteria. What you'll get in return is an up-to-date list of products fulfilling those criteria, together with the current prices and the prices Price to Spy will suggest. When setting up your repricing rules, there are a few most important things to keep in mind. Your own product price competitors' product prices, product stock availability, product's purchase price, desired profit margin, targeted price, also known as minimum advertised price or recommended retail price, and desired pricing position, whether you'd like to be the cheapest or more expensive than a particular competitor. Let's create our own pricing strategy. I will click on the New Strategy button and name it Test Strategy. Since I wish this one strategy to be applied for all options, I will leave all boxes checked for Clever Drop, Clever Raise and Stock Assortment Opportunity. Remember, you can create individual pricing strategies for individual categories, brands or suppliers, but I will focus on all products in this case. Just click Next to continue. Now, let's set the Clever Drop Opportunity rules. You can choose to be the cheapest the most expensive competitor in general, or in reference to particular websites. For the purpose of this test strategy, I will select to be the cheapest. I want my price to be cheaper than competitors by 1% and I wish to maintain a profit margin of 5%. Now I will apply this rule to all products for both my own and my competitor URLs, but you are free to choose to apply these rules only to available products for example. Next. We will set the rules for the Clever Raise opportunity. I wish my price to be cheaper by 1% compared to any competitor, but please note that you can create individual strategies for particular competitors or competitor groups. 
Again, I will apply this rule to all products for both my own and my competitor URLs and click Next. For stock assortment, it's much more simple. Since this option shows you only the products where you don't have your own URL or your URL is not available and there is at least one other URL which is available. You will be asked if you wish to create a widget for this repricing strategy on your dashboard and I will check this box so you can see how this looks like later. Now it's your turn to accept or reject repricing suggestions and to apply them in your own store. You will be prompted to approve the suggestions you wish to use to reprice your products. Once you enter one of the repricing options, you can choose to approve all repricing suggestions or you can approve them one by one. Also, please note that if you don't agree with the suggested price entirely, you can modify it manually. If you have gone through the whole list, you can go ahead and click on reprice. If you're certain that all approved changes are OK, just confirm. And this is where repricing methods come in. Depending on the way your store is integrated with price to spy there are two ways repricing can work with your store. Indirect repricing. If your store is not integrated with your price to spy account, price to spy will prepare the repricing information, but you'll have to apply it in your own store. Basically, a CSV file will be delivered to you via email or FTP. Direct repricing is applicable if your store is integrated with your price to spy account, so price to spy will execute repricing changes directly within your store via Link My Store or Webhook. In order to use the webhook, please note that some development would need to be done on your end. You can keep track of the repricing decisions you made in the past by entering your repricing log. Here you can see all previous repricing actions and by clicking on the number of repriced products, you can see an exact list of products you adapted the price for. You will notice there is a timestamp assigned to each product, so you will be able to see when was this price change made. If you remember, we have chosen to create a widget for our repricing strategy. So if I go to the dashboard, I will find the repricing opportunities widget. By clicking on any of the repricing opportunities, you will get to the part where you decide which repricing suggestions to approve. If you have any questions, suggestions or thoughts about the repricing module, please send us an email to support at pricetospy.com.